Yeah, it's your boy Fist in his house, bringing another great edition of Crisis 2 from the Xbox to you, because hey, that's what I do. So, I'm on the Pier 17, I wanted to show you the shoddy, and I love the shoddy. I, I, really, the reason I did this video is because I wanted to get a couple things off my chest, and plus, show the graphics of this. I mean, you can see more of this map, and how it plays out, and... How beautiful, look at the trees, and even the leaves look really good. The the ground, I mean, for the console, this looks stupendous. Walked into a spawn, got killed. Didn't know it. I think it was like my second game uh, at, th at this time. But, um, so, <laughs> that's what I want to address. Like, people, I'm tired of him talking about texture and all this. Oh, my God, it's such... <laughs> Ugh, so I don't want to hear it. Listen, I'm a PC gamer. You know? I don't know. I know Fisticuff's always on the Xbox and the PS3. I don't even know why I'm making comments here. But what, what are they talking about? Like, look, look, get some in the back of your head. Poof, poof. That Fisticuff. He's so good. Why would I even make a comment here? I'm from the PC. It doesn't even matter. Exactly. Like, why? Why even make a comment? Who cares? I mean, I don't go to, like, World at Warcraft and make comments and I play from the Xbox. I don't even care about that game. I would never play it in a million years because you know why? I left PC gaming a long time ago. I left it when Diablo 2. That's it. I'm done. You know, my, my allegiance and what I love to play is on the console. If it's not on the console, I'm not going to play it. Period. That's it. So, hey, unless somebody out there wants to buy me a rig... I'll play PC gaming for you. If you like me that much, buy me a rig and I'll play it for you. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. It's just never, never in a million years. I just, it just takes too much of your time up and I hate to get carried away with it because I want to talk about the game. Look at the shadows. Isn't that great? It's awesome. This game is stupendous for Xbox. I mean, for the console. I don't know. It was probably going to come out for the P PS3, too, as well. I mean, I know that. But it's, these other comments I get as well is fucking hilarious to me. Somebody made a uh, comment and said, Oh, uh, you think this is a comparable game to Killzone 3? And I'm, like, saying to myself, Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He says, well, The reason why he won't play uh, Killzone 3 because he can't go 30-1. and one. No, the reason I won't play Killzone 3 is because it's ridiculously horrible controls. And the game's, like, unrealistically fun. I mean, if you look at this game, and then that's another thing, too. If a game comes out and it's a sequel to a game, here's how you could tell a game is a failure. Dead on Arrival. DOA. You can tell a game is dead on arrival is when you look at the first five pages of YouTube, and you can go over there right now, right now. Go over to the first five pages of gaming YouTube and go through all five pages and tell me if you see one video of a flag star, what is it, flagship uh, exclusive game to the PS3 sequel, might I add, in any video of the first five pages of gaming on YouTube, you won't see one. D O A. Dead on arrival. That game is done. That I mean, this what this is like a disease that's going around to developers. Like they won't listen to the community. Like uh, we're not gonna listen to you guys because we know more than you. No, we are the people that patronize your company by paying you money and playing your games. If you're not going to listen to us, we won't play your game, and you go bye-bye. That's what happened to Midway, Mortal Kombat. They went bye-bye. And some other, a whole other school of companies. They went bye-bye. You know? So, the point is, is that <laughs> it's laughable when you think you could try to compare Crisis 2 to Killzone 3. No way in hell, first off. It's going to be wildly successful because it's going to be on Xbox. I tell you that right now. Give it another sequel. And the only bad thing, that, here's what's bad about Crisis 2. Crisis 2, they do not know how to measure out the strength. Like the, the calculations between, you know, killing somebody and you powering up your weapons, you know, 
filling up your perk slots and completely, I guess they call them perks, but, you know, whatever your power and, uh, you know, combination with uh, attachments, their combination system for the weapons is, is messed up. And they need a lot of balancing. They need to balance out the shield. They need to balance out the, the weapons. Like the shotgun should kill a lot more easy. You can't even shoot off the hip with the shotgun and kill people. But the great thing that this game has over Killzone 3 is it has fluidity. The controllers re move. You, see, you don't see all this bobbling and weaving when the guy runs. I mean, comparative to map development, they're both equal. I would say that Crisis 2 is probably a little bit more you know about five times a little bit better because you know obviously uh, you see like the water and uh, the lighting and everything else in the engine is a lot better but uh, as far as like gaming mechanics and the fluidity of the character movement pff, blows kill zone out the water there's no equal to it you know I mean if they want to kill zone could change it if they want to but pff, will they no I don't think so as far as uh, as far as Killzone 3's weapons and Crisis 2 weapons, they're both shit. They're both fucking garbage. I mean, you cannot count on them killing with any combination, even though they're, they're you know, uh, like the M60 in the demo is completely overpowered in, um, look at this, look at this, I should have killed all three of those guys. That's ridiculous. And I get killed. Fuck that. That's what I'm talking about. That should have been a fucking triple kill right there. Any other game, that would have been your ass. But the M60 is... I mean, if you want to own in Crisis 2, just get the M60. It's a fucking... The biggest new weapon because of the balance issues. But as far as fluidity and everything else in this game, as far as, you know, the balance of the ideas, is great. Balance of the weapons and the perks and the attachments, not so great. They need to work on that. There's a lot there that's missing. I mean, mentally, that's if you try to put them all together, you know, a fucking sniper rifle, you have three shots to kill somebody. I don't give a fuck if you have super suit on. That should not. Come on, dude. And then, oh, and on top of that, the servers on Xbox Live. I mean, I don't know. This is, you know, whoever's whoever's holding service on it. There's no dedicated service. There should be dedicated service. That's the problem with Xbox Live. You know, in uh, <laughs> it's a sad thing. I hope Activision gets servers, but EA is the only one that has servers, and that's what's going to be great about Battlefield 3. If you're a Battlefield 2 player, and then people talking about Battlefield having big maps, you know, if you haven't played Battlefield 2, you realize that vehicles help you get across the map. That's the point of playing Battlefield objective games. And if you can't use, you know, you have to be multi-talented, you know, to to do those things. I mean, <laughs> oh, man, some of the stuff that I hear uh, in this community, it just baffles me. I mean, I, I kind of compare it to, like, when you see somebody driving slow in the fast lane. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Don't you get it? Like, it's like some people just don't get it in society, no matter if... Jesus Christ came down here and told you that you know this was what gonna happen in the next five seconds or in the next eight minutes of your life or whatever that movie is you still wouldn't believe it you still wouldn't get it that's why people wind up in jail that's why people die like the you know that's why some people like make big mistakes they don't look both ways boom a train hits them you know, oh yeah ain't nothing gonna happen that's the equation here, you know, I mean, it's like, if you don't play through the game, if you don't know the lineage, I mean, if you don't try everything, it's like when you say stuff, it makes you sound like, you, oh my god, dude, this dude's a noob. But anyways, look, I played consoles, I think Crisis is a good game, I'm pro I mean, I would, I'm probably going to play Dark uh, Dragon Ages 2 in Homefront, I mean, I don't know, Crisis is looking like... <laughs> It's missing a big piece, like, the big piece is, like, balancing the whole setup, and it's like, the M60 is way overpowered, and that's it. <laughs> so anyways, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the morning. Peace. Boy, I'm out.